but no Hughes to start for either team as we get underway. And the Canucks controlling in the first of this five game homestand and that puck is off a stick and out of play just six seconds into the opening period. Emmett's missed the pass, but the Devils working ahead. Here's Brad, and another save by Demko. His two best stops have been with the blocker to start this game, as Brad tried to beat him in the same spot as Toffoli did. Miller chips the puck into the Devils zone. Seeking follow around for Heischer, and here comes Devils, two on one. Brad with Palat. Yes for Brad. Scores! Fake the pass across, and put it past Demko, Jesper Brad. At 3.40 of the first, makes it 1-0 for the Devils. Three-man advantage breaks, odd rush breaks. This puck is going to bounce past Hironik, and it's a two-on-one. Brat is looking for Palat, but Quinn Hughes takes that pass away. He allows Brat to square up and shoot this, and he beats Demko through the feet. Good release here by Jesper Brat. It's ninth of the season, and... Pedersen takes his pass, relays to Brock Besser. Down the cloud, hustles to the bench to get a stick. Canucks looking to take advantage. Centering pass, Miller scores! It was a five on three. GT came into the day tied for second in NHL scoring with 36 points. Nikita Kucherov is leading away at 42. Here's a long lead pass, Jack Hughes. Greeted by Myers in the corner. Now Hughes centers all over as Holly scores. Canucks lost track of Eric Holla. Hughes did, and it's two on Devils. New Jersey, and he's going to be all alone in front of the net. As you see, both Myers, Quinn Hughes, Patterson, Miller on the goal line. And now it's off the skate, but Miller able to get to the puck and keep it alive. Who's Benko from the side. Pedersen, stop, rebound! Besser couldn't put it home. Pedersen, Kuzmenko, blocked by Heischer. Kuzmenko makes this terrific pass to Pedersen. There's the rebound that comes right to Brock Besser, and with Vanacek on his stomach in a snow angel, a reverse snow angel, Besser just shoots it right off his pad. He doesn't see it. Miller ends up saving that thing as it's rolling back in the crease, and... So one center waved out. Bluger for the Canucks has been warned. Now they drop the puck. And here's a chance in front, tucked in by Jack Hughes. Kevin Ball just threw it on goal, and Hughes was able to kick it up and tuck it home, and it's 3-1 Devils. Out of the face-off circle, Jack Hughes beats Bluger on the draw, and Bluger slow getting back to the net. Brock Besser battling for the puck deep in his own zone. Balls down from the blue line. Puts one in front, and a good job by Besser to tie up Nathan Bastion. Now a shot from Marino goes wide. Puck thrown in front. Now the puck, and in they jam at home. Another goal for New Jersey. Michael McLeod was able to pop that loose one into the net, and it's 4-1. Besser and Bastion are at the front of the crease, and when Ronick gets there, too, there's all kinds of traffic in front of Demko. This puck gets deflected, so Demko doesn't get a solid square-up save to it. Lazar's shot is deflected by Bastion, and McLeod gets... Here's Tyler Myers to Nikita Zadora. Takes the puck wide on Colin Miller, sends it in front. Teddy Bluger. Sets up shot on the near side, puts one in front, tipped on goal by Garland, rebound, Johnson scores! <laughs> Dakota Joshua standing his ground in front, able to corral that puck and slide it in to make it 4-2. to two. Really strong rush by Zadorov to get into the zone, and Bluger's going to reset the deflection by Garland, allows Joshua to get the rebound. And much like that last goal, the deflected shot doesn't allow the goalie to field it solidly. Vanacek makes one save, now he's tied up with his own player. And Dakota Joshua... With the goal he scored in the first period, he's now three away from 100 for his first. As we get underway, he tries the other side to pull it. Had it blocked, but here comes Jack Hughes. Into the Vancouver zone, got on the forehand. 
Couldn't get that one to go, but there you saw that. A bit of a broken play, and Jack Hughes is out on the rush. Look at him survey the, the scene, and then... Foley from behind the net. Garland trying to stay with him. Puck comes straight in the middle, so Foley able to grab it. Now it's Marino shooting! Jump for the blocker, save. Oh! And the Devils win it. Luke Hughes to Jack Hughes. Rishot tipped him for the save. Now, Luke Hughes scores. Puck bounced out to him, and he just ripped it past Demko. Luke Hughes on the board, and it's 5-2 to two on a power play goal. A broken play, and the puck bounces up in the air. Luke Hughes is going to find it first. I guess Jack Hughes is passing it back. It gets deflected by Bluger on the way back, and this is clean. Uh, quickly delivered wrist shot, perfectly placed for Luke Hughes. Bedard roofs it up over top. That was a big goal, 5-2 Devils entering the third period. Game of just over 30 seconds left in the second. Canucks come up with a puck at center, Ian Cole. Sends it below the goal line. Hoaglander in to pressure the puck. Miller gets it. Centers in. Besser scores! His league leading 18th of the year, which matches his total from last season. This started 15 seconds earlier with Miller's head out at center ice. Hoaglander in on the forecheck. Contact turns the puck over. And Siegenthal is pinned behind the net. Bastian is late coming back. And JT Miller finds Besser in front of the net. That starts with the effort of Hoaglander on the forecheck. When Siegenthaler rolls it around the boards now, Hoaglander's pinned him deep. He can't get back to the front of the net. And Besser's got enough time to hold it, go to the backhand. Who had a really shaky start. He's hung in there. He made a good save in there. He had to fight to make that save. Here's Pedersen back to Hughes. Quinn Hughes, wrist shot, scores! I think Lafferty might have got it in front. Canucks within a goal with 6.02 to play. Pedersen face-off win, and look at the puck battle here, and they take advantage of a break as Jesper Bratt has the puck, he loses it, and as he loses it, it goes right to Quinn Hughes, Hughes is boxed in, there's nowhere to go as Pedersen is there, his shear's there, so he's like, I gotta shoot it, he gets it to the net, and there's Sam Lafferty right on top of the blue paint, goal seven, goals in back-to-back -back game, Shorty, and leaves for Quinn Hughes. Myers on him. Hughes, nice move in the line. Tried a shot that was blocked. Gets it again. Hughes puts it on goal. Rebound. Hoaglander scores. Niels Hoaglander having himself a period, and he is rewarding with a goal that ties the game at five. Quinn Hughes is an escape artist. He's at the blue line, there's nowhere to go. Man, Timo Meyer's gotta be a lot harder on the play than that. Quinn Hughes blows him off the play there. Meyer weighs him by about 40 pounds. And as Quinn Hughes keeps this thing rolling, the save off the rebound. Shorty, we talked about it five minutes into the game. When you play Vitek Vanacek, there's always rebounds. Thank you very much for Niels Hoaglander. An unbelievable night from the fourth line to the first line. Fends off a check and dumps the puck back in. Ian Cole up the boards. Holding it in at the point is Ball across to Marino. Wrist one down. Here's Palat turning. Feeds back. Ball. Wrist shot. Stop. Brett scores. <laughs> Jesper Bratt opened the scoring. Has he closed it as well? It's 6-5 Devils with... The, the play continues on and... D to D pass, and you'll see Bratt come around the back of the net. The Canucks don't identify him in time, and as Bratt goes all the way around, again, a deflected shot in front of the net. It doesn't allow the goaltender to make the save in a solid position. It skips off a of Demko's pass. Down for Pedersen, gonna hit his glove. Not sure, that one loved by Lafferty. Play goes on, Miller with a shot, and a blocker saved by Vanacek, and that'll do it.
Vanacek, one last stop.